Welcome back guys. So we can, we're going to continue writing our uh, program here. So the next thing that we're going to do is we will write the code for uh, whenever the user click on the close button and we should close the uh, auto ports here. So what you want to do is just under properties go on to the uh, event here and locate the uh, form close here. So that's the event we just double click on it and that will generate the event handler we will need to write the code for closing the ports so just click on the serial port serial port and then do close here serial port port re close and I just made an error here just change this to right okay okay the next part is we need to uh, handle the 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 incoming data so on the serial port read line th this is the com port for reading click on that one and, and also under the events tab double click on the data receive handler and we start writing the code. But we, before we start writing code, we need to uh, create a variable so we can store our data in, right? So do a private static static string and then rx string and then initialize to empty string here. So we're going to do the tried Oh shoot. Control Z. That's what happened when you press the tab too many times. And do the try. Do the uh, brackets here. And do the catch. And do a system timeout exception. Okay, so here we're going to store the incoming data receive to serial. We're going to read from the serial, serial port read and use the re existing method to read a string. Okay, and if you want to display, you have to use the invoke method. And you're probably wondering why can you just dis display it straight onto the uh, the GUI? Well, you can't do that because that has some. Uh, let's go against the rule for cross-threading or something. And there's stuff online you can look at, um, and they're explaining to you. Well, it's really complicated, but this is how you would work. Uh, trying to work around and display the text. I'm gonna create a display text uh, function here, and then I'm gonna write my handler display text called private void display text and object. Always input object and then some event event arg. Okay. And then this thing, brackets. And this is where we're going to update or input, re receive data to the read text box. Append text. This is a function, so it used the Bruno C, Rx, and then string. Alright. And that should do it. So that that is the uh, re part. I think we can work on the send part next. Okay. So the next part we need to do is save first so we don't lose any data. So go ahead and double click on the send button here so we can start writing the code for it. So this is the uh, event. We're going to click the send button. You want to use the serial port write because you're trying to send. And then do the 
write text box text so what what we're doing here is we're extracting the extracting the text from the rich text box so whenever you type in this text box here it will store in the uh, text uh, property underneath the right text box we created okay so that's the that's how you would extract text from the rich text box what's wrong with this serial port right okay oh I forgot the dot here uh, that's why Serial report right. Serial report right, right. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So save this thing for now. And then uh, in the next video, we'll conclude this uh, video tutorial series. Since I'm running a little long on this, I'll stop for now. Thanks for watching.